Here we are. So this is the police station for the favela. This is where they are based yeah. here on the top. Okay. You tell me when I'm not when I'm not allowed to film, right? Huh? You, you are telling me when I'm not allowed to film. Like yeah, I don't want no, to upset. Someone. Sure, but Norm, as we are walking, when we are walking down the streets, yeah. it's better to don't walk with that. Okay. <laughs> Down there, it's where we met. There, you can see the guys' station. Yeah. Take yeah, a look. Yeah. So, we came a long way around. Yeah. Mm. So, this shrine was also built in 2008. Okay. In the same year when the military police came to the favela to clean the favela. Yeah. So, before having this, people just had to walk okay. up and down or take the taxis. So they did it for like the... For yeah, the... yeah, it's like an elevator for your building, oh, let's say okay. this way. And what happens? This favela was actually built on the opposite way, yeah. from the top to the bottom. So the first houses were made here. Okay. So by saying this, we can, we can say that we have very old people, very old residents living on the top. Okay. People who are older than 75 years old, people who have to walk with the walking sticker, yeah. So from all the way from the gas station to there, there are 788 steps. Okay. So it's a very good exercise. Oh, yeah. So this is very, very helpful. Uh, yes, of course. And of this course. is like free entrance. You don't have to pay. But for Even for us, we can just go in and come up. Uh, and up. It's yeah. very, very useful. Yeah, nice. <laughs> you saw on the other side, we have the Shurgalo yeah. and the crust there Christ, yeah. so you can see how the favela is very well located yeah, between yeah. the two main attractions of the city yeah, yeah. so this was also one of the reasons why michael jackson chose this favela here to make the video clip okay no, they don't care about us yeah. in 1996 yeah. because even though the favela was dangerous in 1996 this is a very small favela if you compare it to the other ones yeah. so it was like the less dangerous favela for him to come and the location was helping him to be here as well how, how many citizens this favela here yeah. seven thousand seven thousand so very very small Rocinha has over a hundred thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's like 20 times bigger yeah, than yeah, this yeah, one yeah, yeah. i mean a hundred a hundred thousand people is the official number uh, but in office at three hundred thousand yeah, yeah much more yeah, yeah. much much more okay nobody knows exactly it's nobody different. knows it's never different. never ever and oh take a look right there to the very top of the hill to the base yeah. can you see a lot of people there oh there are people moving there on the top next to the next to the palm tree okay oh there are some heads moving yeah on the top so this is a viewpoint of the city I we call mirante dona marta or yeah. the dona marta viewpoint okay, yeah. there are two ways you can go you, there is a trail yeah. that you can take uh, after the last house yeah. but it's not so easy because they don't it's not so the, the way is not so clear okay. to see or you can go by uber or by taxi mm -hmm. because it's uh, in the tijuca forest okay so it's very close to the christ yeah, yeah so me and my friends what do we do when we are in a party when we are very very crazy and we want to leave the party but we don't want to go home okay. we take a taxi and we go there to see the sunrise Oh, nice. Because the sun rises behind the Shurgalov on yes. the other side. Yeah, yeah. And from there, there is a panoramic view. Okay. So yeah. we can see everything. We can see the sun raising. Local spot. It's beautiful. Local, beautiful. Yeah. yeah, we always go there during the sunrise. I mean, of course, if you go now, it's also beautiful. Yeah. But the special tip is to go from the night to the morning. That's amazing. I understand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did the, did the people make this? It, it was a, a NGO oh, okay. that came here. This is very nice. NGO, uh, non, non profit organization. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So I think everything that's colorful brings life to the place. It yeah. makes the place more alive. <laughs> and actually. Michael Jackson came here yeah. in 1996 
So he shot his video clip, they don't care about us. Half of the video clip was made here, the other half was in Salvador, in Bahia. Oh, so he was mixing both oh, places. So Michael was here for six hours only, and this area was built one year after his death. Okay, and yeah. it's now on one of the most uh, popular spaces of the favela, where people hang out. This bar is normally open the whole day, yeah. so people are always drinking here, enjoying the view. Yeah. It's very common for the residents and for the young people of the favela to fly kites. Ah, yeah, the, the dragons. Like. This is awesome. This is very nice. And, you know, it's a very simple thing for you to do, but it's very fun. You can do for hours. Yeah, you can yeah, do for course, hours, course. hours. Because what happens? When you have the line, yeah. there is a, a product that people put on the line that you can cut the, the kite of your rival. Okay. It's like a mix of glass and other material that cuts very easy. Yeah. But this material is not, how can I say, officially legalized for people to sell because we had accidents before. Okay. Let's suppose people driving motorbikes yeah. and then the line cutting ah, their necks. Okay, okay. So yeah. I'm, but people make it anyway because it's fun to fly and destroy uh, the arrival uh, and then you can get the kite for yourself. Okay, they, they, that's like a competition. Exactly. Like, I have a dragon, you have a dragon, and I try to cut you down. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And like, as, as much as it's like, oh, this is very simple, yeah. you can do it for hours. Of course, Because it's course. like, you just keep, sometimes your kite's very high, yeah. and then you're like, yeah, finally, and then you just keep doing it. It's very fun. <laughs> See, here you can take your mask off. There is nobody here who can take a breath. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Much better. Yeah. Sorry. No, no problem. And these are all like recycling products, which is very nice. Okay. Her aunt is the responsible for the oh, shop. Yeah, I understand, I understand. Yeah. Pô, fiz até tô acordar cedo, né? Uma merda. Oh, this is like the main square of the favela ah. with the colorful houses, but this is like downstairs. I understand. All the weights, you take three hours, like four yeah. hours. But uh, I was only in the main room. It was on yeah, the, you went not, to... not on the vehicle. Sure, exactly, not on the vehicle. Yeah. Let's take a look how many vehicles we have. Yeah. Oh, and this is also nice to show. On the sides, on the extreme sides of the favela, even in one side the cable car. Yeah. So the cable, the cable car is already a barrier. And on the other side, there is a wall, like a protection. So no one can make new houses after the wall. Because the apologies the politicians gave to the local people is that the whole green area belongs to the National Tijuca Park. But you know, it's okay, it's a nice apologize. But if we are on the top of the favela and if you look to the areas where we also have the green area, we see houses of rich people under construction. And why they don't have a wall and we have a wall? So it's a little bit funny. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. I mean, no, there is no problem of being a, protect, a protected area. It's okay, yeah. but for everyone, yeah, not course. only for us. It's, it's, just a, it's just an excuse. Always, like always. <laughs> 